Hey there, hope you're doing well. Thanks for checking out this video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about some of the things you can do to get your truck ready for winter. We're getting into the colder time of year. I'm in Denver and we're actually expected to get a couple inches of snow this weekend. And so winter preparations are on. My channel is sponsored by Arch Oil, which is the additive that I run in the winter time. Now, there's a lot of great options out there. So, you know, I'm sure for a lot of you, you kind of have your preferred additive. The cool story with getting Arch Oil to sponsor this channel is I actually reached out to them because I had been using their products. I found them on Amazon one day and I was reading the Amazon reviews and they were just insane. Like, people really loved the product and said it worked really well and they had higher reviews than basically any other additive product on Amazon. So I was like, all right. So then I tried it myself and I have really been blown away by the benefits, especially for reducing regens. I think I've gotten a lot of questions about this and I may do another video on it, but you know, for us that's have the DPF, SCR, EGR, everyone wants to know, you know, how can I reduce the DPF regens? And Arch Oil is one of the best products out there, I think for that. So after I used it for about a year, I actually reached out to them when I started this channel and was like, hey, I would love to work with you guys, you know, if we could work something out where you could get, the channel a discount for subscribers that would be sick because i love your product and you know i mean whether or not you sponsor me i'm going to keep using it so anyway just wanted to throw that out there arch oil is a sponsor of the channel you can get 10 percent off your order of their ar6300 which is the winter diesel treat you just have to use the code psm10 and that'll get you 10 percent off your entire order at archoil.com all right, that's enough gum flapping. Let's talk about oil for winter for your power stroke. So Ford recommends for any temperature operation of the truck below zero degrees Fahrenheit that you run 5W40. That's just what it is. Now, if you're never gonna see below zero temps, you should probably run 10W30, which is what they call normal usage. I have found though that for most people, 5W40 makes sense because Ford classifies extreme duty as you know heavy towing, heavy operation in like dirty or dusty conditions, but also is short trips. And so for a lot of us that will run short trips where the oil isn't getting up to temperature fully or the motor isn't getting up to temperature fully, Ford actually says you should be running 5W40 anyway. So I feel like for most people, you should just run 5W40. Now, I guess if you're down in like Florida or Texas and you never see temps, you know, even like below 10 degrees or 20 degrees, then maybe 10W30, you like you could probably get away with running that all the time. But I think for us who are in, you know, the the northern part of the United States or, you know, in Canada, it's definitely worth running 5W40. I've even noticed because the first year I owned my truck, I just had 10W30 because I didn't know any better. And then last winter I had 5W40 and I didn't have my block heater. And we had like two weeks where it got well below zero. We had like several nights where it was like minus 15 in New Hampshire. And I would go out, I would cycle the key like twice or three times to get the glow plugs going. And then the truck would fire right up. It would obviously run a little rough initially. And so that's why I was like, all right, I should probably get a block heater for it. But the 5W40 really made it easier to start when it was in the cold versus the year before when I had the 10W30 and I was trying to start it in the cold. It wasn't quite as cold. I think we had maybe a week where it was around zero temps at night. But anyway, oil is important. 5W40 is what you want for the cold. So I guess if you're running 10W30 and you want to do that in the summertime, you could switch to 5W40 in the wintertime. But again, for me, I feel like just running 5W40 year round is the way to go. One thing I would add is if you are going to see temperatures below minus 20, so if you're up in Wyoming or Idaho, Ford does recommend 0W30 or 0W40 for like really extreme temperatures and that will cover the entire temperature spectrum. So if you're gonna see sustained temps 
well below zero. 5W40 may not even be the like what you should be running. I think 5W40 does a good job in covering the kind of the broad spectrum of highs and lows for the average user. But if you're in extreme temps, extreme lows and extreme highs. Now, moving on to the block heater, I got mine put in earlier last spring. And so I researched this because it was kind of new to me and how I wanted to run it. And what I found is that if you have a block heater, it typically takes the heating element about three hours to get the engine up to temperature. So I've seen on forums, people say they plug their truck in, depending on how cold it is, right? Anywhere from like an hour and a half to two hours to three hours before they anticipate turning the engine on. And really the element's just sitting in your coolant and it's warming your coolant up. You know, I suppose if it was like well below zero, you'd probably want to plug it in three hours before. If, you know, it's super, super cold, you could probably just leave it plugged in the whole time. I know that there is a piece of technology called a power badger that I'm gonna try to get my hands on. They have it on Amazon for like 150 bucks. And it essentially like lets you set the time you want the motor to be at temperature. And then it will turn on the heating element. So it's really just like a timer. And I suppose you could do the same thing with a timer from the hardware store, but it has great reviews on Amazon. So I'm gonna try it and I will report back with how well it works. But you really wanna make sure you're plugging your truck in ahead of time. Now, Ford says you don't need to plug your truck in until it's zero degrees Fahrenheit. So what I've seen in forums as people say, you know, typically when it gets into the teens or the single digits, they'll start to plug their truck in to warm it up. If you're just, you know, between 30 and 40 degrees, you probably don't need to plug your truck in. But I found that if I want it to be at temperature and when it starts up the heat to be nice and toasty pretty much immediately and, you know, not have to worry about the truck warming up too much when it's cold. If it gets below 20 degrees, I'm plugging the truck in for at least two hours. And that's just what I do. All right. Last and certainly not least, probably the most important or the most talked about thing is protecting your fuel system for the winter months. Now, Along with running an additive like Archoil AR6300, it, it's very important to make sure you're changing your fuel filters regularly because with the change in temperature, you can get condensation either in your fuel tank or in your fuel lines and that water has to go somewhere. And so that's the job of the water separator. So you wanna make sure you're draining that water separator every month and then also changing both the upper and the lower filter elements. Part of the reason I like to run Arch Oil and I reached out to them about sponsoring the channel is that their product does target the DPF and deposits in the DPF in addition to improving the cetane rating and the lubricity of the fuel for the CP4. So as I had mentioned before, I get a lot of questions about, hey, how do I reduce regens? You know, do I need to get a cold air intake or a DPF back? And really it's as simple as running a additive in your fuel that has detergents that will clean the DPF in addition to boosting your cetane rating and improving the lubricity of the fuel and doing all the things that additives do. So by running Arch Oil's anti-gel in the winter time, you do get the benefits of having a clean DPF on top of also having better quality fuel for the CP4 and keeping the fuel from gelling. All right, well, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you for watching this video on prepping your engine for winter. If I missed something, which I'm sure I did, please let me know in the comments below, what are you doing to prep your engine for the winter time? Obviously there's other things like making sure you have the right coolant, making sure I don't know, your air intake's clean. There's like basic maintenance things, but I, again, I'm here to kind of share these things that I think about when it gets cold outside. I'm assuming most here in the community are more advanced when it comes to their maintenance as well. So certainly though, if I, if I miss something or messed up, let me know. I hope you have a very safe and productive winter. I hope your truck runs well throughout and you don't have any issues. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time here on Power Stroke Maintenance. Cheers.